the most struggly time. Holy poopers. Ooh right then, fantastic news. This is all dry and pretty much all put together. We can leave that alone. It's too soon to get excited though. Before I can start lining up the seal and putting the seal back on, there are still like loads of repairs that need to happen. As you can see, we've got rusty crusties here. There is all this random rusty crustiness here that all needs to be cleaned up and sorted out. Some of it will be cut out, some of it will stay but be cleaned up and treated. But my biggest concern is here. The issue around here is that there is rust behind there that's actually so severe that there are literal rust holes. This hole here and this hole here is literally rusted through. So there is something going on behind there. I have to take it off. I have to cut some, I have to cut this off and, um, and come up with something. It's another supporting piece for this seal. This will be welded to the bottom of the seal to give it like extra support. Just like we did in the back. I'm gonna try, I'm just gonna start cutting it away and see how bad it is behind there. It needs, it needs to be done, it needs to be done. Let's get, let's just get in there and have a look. Bam. So that was here, this is what I mean. The back of this actually is nowhere near as bad as I thought. Obviously needs sorting out, but this is what was hiding behind there. And that's a crusty boy. Yep, I need to think, I need to think, I might even have to go a bit deeper again. Mm. Every single time we discover new rust, it's not new, we knew this, we know this. Working on the shell, we know exactly what's going on. There's rust everywhere, some of it is really bad, some of it is medium bad, some of it is just bad. Just bad stuff we're going to have to deal with other stuff we're gonna have to try and do. I really can't be bothered to do this and I really don't want to but I'm gonna have to cut all of this this is all shocking I've cleaned it up a little bit but this is all still really bad I'm just gonna have to cut it out and in fact if I do cut it out it will give me a chance to get there's a cavity inside of here and it'll give me access into the cavity and I will also have a look in there I just yeah this is this is gonna have to go some of this other stuff, it's all going to be ground back to fresh metal and there is, I think there is enough material, enough good metal there for, for it to still be good and strong and I'm happy with that but I can't, I can't leave, I can't leave this, this is, this is just going to continue going and going and going, this, the, the problem of this stuff is even after you clean it up, the rust is like layered, it's in layers so you think this, this that this is fine, but it's not fine. The rust is, there's layers of it underneath this. You scratch it and it goes brown again. Yep, we have to do it. I will try.
try and remove this piece without causing too much damage and we'll, we'll reassess once again. Let's have a little update on what I am doing. A lot of stuff to think about, as always. Let me give you a little wifey I will just show you. This is the area. I have cleaned it up. Let's see if it's better without a light. With light? Without light? Ah, oh, I don't know. I've welded in a section here because this lip um, was really dodgy and rusty and ripped up from when I was taking the piece off and it was all kinds of weird. So I've rebuilt that. I've cleaned up some edges to work out what I need to do for my repair piece. Inside of here, I've just got this tissue in there to stop crap going in there because it's actually very nice inside um pretty much no rust still original wax oil in there like it's it's not bad so i'm just trying to keep all metal shavings and things out of there so this is what i'm gonna have to do and obviously the back side of this is gonna have to meet here 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 weld around the sides um also my welding look at that that's turned out real nice and yeah, rather than just go on about it more, I will just continue. This is what we need, this sort of thing. There are some things that bring me great pleasure in life. And let me show you one of those things. So this is the piece of metal that I made to go in here. The line is where I need to make my first bend. And if we go over to the vise, the length of the bend is exact same size as my vise. That is bloody good. Just match it up perfectly. That is... I like it. And as always, we trust the process. Lots of hammering, lots of filing, lots of messing around to get this. Would you look at that? It seems like a very simple, it seems like a very simple thing, but there is so much shape in it in order to meet all of these edges. Because these cars are made so weird, nothing meets up, and you think you're working with straight lines, but nothing is ever straight. So if you can see, there is like so much shape in this, and I had to, um, if you can see all these hammering marks, I had to like stretch a bit of metal for it to sit tight against that the original piece wasn't even sitting flush in most places it was just kind of just kind of whacked on there and spot welded but massive gaps loads of seam sealer everywhere just the usual ford mess but this is actually this is actually better than factory yeah nice fresh piece I'll see you when all of that is done.
I am continuing to work on this area. This was the piece that was in there, all rusty crusty. And now I need to make something that looks like this. It doesn't have to be super duper perfect, exactly the same. It needs to serve the same functions. So there needs to be a few plug welds here. There needs to be a lip on the bottom that is welded to the bottom of the sill. And that's basically it. So it just needs to be tight to here, tight to here, nice bit of space, and the lip at the bottom that lines up with the bottom of the silk, just like I did over here. I have no idea what I'm doing. I cut out this piece of metal, and I am just going to try to make something that looks similar. Okay, let's give that a shot. And once again, I remind myself that you just have to trust the process. I start, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I'm looking at it, I'm like, all right, work. Slowly but surely, I'm starting to work out what I need to do. So far, so good. Fits like an absolute dream boat. That is uh, lovely. Shave down. Weld the welds, both sides. This bottom part is going to get trimmed off, so I don't mind all this. But um, it's looking real good. Okay, I'm absolutely starving. I'm gonna go home and eat and continue tomorrow. Alrighty then. Very nice. Back at it. I've just spent like, I don't know how much time trying to work out where to make a bend because I'll show you. So this goes here and where my thumb is, that needs to be, um, a bend for the bottom of the seal to duck up to I've literally I had the seal on and off like a thousand times trying to work out if you can see all my markings and bits and pieces trying to work out where it's going and what to trim and what not to trim and I'm just gonna do it and then deal with it because I'm this is just trying to work it out is crazy silly so I'm just gonna do it and take it from there
Right then, I've got this seal mocked up in its quite accurate place. That is pretty much where it's gonna be when it's put in. So I'm doing this to work out what the hell I'm doing with this. So the bend that I made, even though it was very guesstimated, actually ended up being very nice. And what I've just found out that was completely not apparent to me, I have this massive gap here because this panel doesn't just go straight down it kind of comes down and flares out with the seal so that presents me with a whole new challenge of now this thing that i've got made this far i need to make sure that the seal is in contact with it along here it's always things that just pop up that you have absolutely no idea you even have to consider yeah Okay, mm, I'm just gonna start having a go. So this is a lot more complicated than I thought and I think what I need to do Oh, I'll show you. Um, okay, so I'm messing around with this. I'm kind of, you know, I'm closing up that gap. That's sort of getting better here. On this line, there is a step in that lip, which I tried creating. I'll show you in a minute. I'm trying to line stuff up and I don't even know what I'm trying to line up. I can't see what I'm doing because it's inside. There are these, there are these like holes in the inner seal. I think I need to make another one here. I'm gonna put a hole here just so I can have access visually and physically into that area to see what I'm even doing. So yeah, holes are time. Index points are very important as I'm finding out. So I made my hole there. I can now see what's going on and that's not, it's very close, but it's not close enough. I need this to be lining up all lovely and everything needs to be touching. I've taken everything apart and put it back together about 4,000 times. It's literally not even funny anymore. I have, as you can see here now, this is getting nice and close. I've indexed these two points to this and I'm going to take everything off, but have this and this still attached together and then try and manipulate it from the inside. I can't count how many times I've put things on and off and on and off and on and off because there's so many points where things need to line up so this needs to line up this needs to line up the back end all of that 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 everything needs to line up just to understand just to get the reference points on point points on point uh, blah 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 taken the seal off with my repair panel still attached and this is what I'm saying so this is this is the step that is annoying here that won't let this come down all the way and where I've stepped it I was literally I was like a millimeter out and it just throws the whole thing out of whack so I need to just bend this up a little bit more here just make a correct step and try and see if I can join this together and index it from the bottom. Really weird stuff. Hours, hours of work and just figuring it out. Crazy. It looks as if someone who knows what they're doing is doing this, but it's somehow me. I don't know what I'm doing, but I've just spent absolute hours. Okay, look at my placement of this seal with just the whole, it's like everything is getting so close where I've been taking things on and off and hitting things and bending things and welding stuff and like just pushing it. And this isn't even, this is like just a very rough placement and it's already, Everything is lining up so good. Oh my god, what is happening? There's still loads of issues, but the actual fitment, a loose, a rough 
Oh my god, this is working out for some... I don't know why it's working so well, but it's working really well. Four thousand hours and a shave later, it's time for a little update. I've been very busy with loads of detail work. The repair panel is done, and I just want to talk about it because I feel like I've got stuff to say and to show. I had a big tidy up because things I just couldn't even get my like after I finished making the panel. I had just honestly all the stuff everywhere. I can't do it. My brain just goes. <laughs> Gave myself a couple more work surfaces because I'm constantly piling up stuff in here. So I've got this um, like just section of like kitchen top, um, put it here so I can just put stuff on here. And also this little shelf here because I'm constantly putting things down here and kicking it, like all my self tappers and little pliers and bits and pieces. And fun thing is a uh, little area has got its own little light on the magnet, oh, very nice. So when I'm gonna work in this area here i've got a little shelf here i can pile all the things on here and that's lovely this is my repair piece that i have made the original part has this big um big hole that um that's dimple dyed i've also done a similar sort of thing to give the panel some strength i've done three little uh 32 mil holes dimple dyed them by hand as you saw in the footage worked out really nicely quite a therapeutic little process actually doing it by hand one of the things that took a surprising amount of time this little area here was full of seam sealer and it took me forever to clean it out to clean this bit out oh god and yeah everything everything in there has been cleaned up brush treated primed ready to go ready to be welded this is ready to be welded everything's been you know i went through the hole I've been through the whole process, all the sanding, all the degreasing, all the like, proper, proper steps. Proper steps have been taken so far to this point. I've got a lovely clean 
area to work in. I'm just gonna weld this in and have a really nice enjoyable time. For a part that no one will ever see, I think we've done a pretty good job. And the biggest thing to take away from all of this is that I was kind of going into it, making this repair panel a bit like, oh, like I'm sure again. Trusted the process, was just doing it, doing it, doing it. And through doing it, it's made me align the whole side of the car, the seal, the door, make sure all of my, like I've, I've made the fitment of all the panels so far better than it was from the factory, which is just crazy to me. We're struggling along, we're having fun, and we're gonna keep going. Time to weld the thing in. I'm just gonna do it. Alrighty then, literally straight from the hot welder. Some stuff was really weird. Around here I had a bit of an issue. My plug welds are still a bit on the funky side, but they're pretty solid, like it's melted in there really nicely. I was having a weird time trying to get tight into the corners there. Um, couple of little weird bits where it like blew through and I had to kind of fill it in, but overall, overall, yeah, we're pretty happy with that. That's not bad, straight from the welder, it's quite good. Well done, well done me, quite good, quite good welding today, it's quite good right. mm, yeah. So yeah, inside, everything's all painted. See, inside, internal welds, all covered. Oh, struggling. So yeah, this weird contraption works pretty well. Um, yeah, this is all just rough. I just sprayed some sprayed inside, ground a couple of little bits off, mocked up the seal again. Everything still fits amazing, lovely. So, excellent. All right, so I've tinkered with it a little bit more. This will do for now. I'm just going to leave it as is. Couldn't find any more of that copper U pole primer. So, yeah, we're now using the zinc one instead of the copper one. Um, that's what that is on there that will be left alone i've already started work on the rest of the inner seal i'm welding in a fresh lip at the top uh, welding up some weird holes and cleaning it up i'm going to make sure this area is absolutely on point clean it weld up anything that's weird cut all the rust out put rust treatment on it sand, sand that back repaint it and then um, once that's done I will start thinking about lining up the seal for its final time and actually getting the seal prepared for for welding in. So, um, <clears throat> so yeah, that will be uh, that will be the next thing. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna end this episode here. In the next episode, hopefully, it's gonna be seal on time. Amazing. Feeling good. Doing stuff. See you in the next one.